Ah, here we are at the home of Irina with a little cat that gave birth to kittens in her shed that came from somewhere else. And these are the little babies. Hi, Irina. Hello. That she's got to find a home for. She tried to get them. Okay. Here so is the cats are. I found in the shed. Look at how lovely they are. They're not mine, they're just somebody's. Cat come and give the birth in the shed. And I try every charity and everything else to help. And would you believe it or not, not one of the charity, RSPCA or CATS charity, willing to help because they was just full of bollocks. And all advice I get, leave them where you found them and or take them to the vet and they put them to sleep. And that's it. All is their response. Every single charity. And it's so upsetting. I don't know where the money, if you go to them, give money to the charity, make sure where they go. This is really, really bad. But I found lovely home. The reason I cannot keep them because I'm going away to Russia for a month and a half and it's impossible for me to look after them. I can't possibly do that to give to the vets and they're all going to be put so to sleep. The RSPCA, what did they say to RSPCA you? RSPCA say leave them where you found them. And uh, that is the whole thing. So that is their advice. Then? So nobody willing to... So all this money you give from the charity, you only have a glass, uh, glossy advertising. This is just all lots of lots of rubbish. And if you go... I found this wonderful woman who's called Jan. And she is all support herself and she have a lot of cats and dogs and ponies and geese and pigs and she feed them all herself without anybody help so if you wish to give help to someone i think you should give to somebody like that so here we go that's how sad it is all about well good luck with your drive okay and look at the little babies what they love aren't they sweet and they just start to open their eyes. Could you, could you, could you? Could you? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Which one is it? It's one already They're opened their eyes. They're, they're, they're. They're going to a new home today, yeah? No, you're not. It's not you. It's one who's already open eyes. Here it is. This is the first one who opened the eye. You see, the little one just start to open. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you lovely little baby, aren't you? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh. <laughs> so there we have it. So be careful of where you give your money to the charities. I know. They're not it's so very, helpful. very awful. I just realized, first time I come across the charities and the help for all the animals, they don't give you help at all. Forget about it. This is so bad, you know. And they're supposed to be animals lover, you know. They just, the way I advise, they just put them down or leave them where you found them. That is it. And we're fully booked. We don't have any space for this. Nobody wants to know. Okay. This is so bad. Thank you very much. Well, good luck with your little journey. Okay. They all have a happy home anyway, so I'm okay. very happy about that. That's great.